Well, the censors at Facebook are at it again. Yeah, we all know that nudity, even an Elaine Bennis style nip slip, is verboten on Facebook, but banning a Picasso that depicted an abstract nude image? Oh yeah, it really did happen. I still want to know if the censors at Facebook are real, albeit really dumb human beings, or if those censors are part of an artificial intelligence algorithm that's big on artificiality but severely lacking in intelligence. And I'm sure the fine folk at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts are pondering this query too. Recently, the museum took out an online ad for its Picasso exhibit and the ad was promptly rejected for, wait for it, violating Facebook's anti-nudity policy. Now, according to a story in the National Post, museum spokeswoman Pascal Chase says the advertisement was blocked because it showed Picasso's painting entitled Femmes à la Toilette, which features two nude women. By the way, just in case the phrase two nude women conjures up a Hustler magazine centerfold, this is what Femmes à la Toilette looks like. Yeah, pretty photorealistic, wouldn't you say? But wait now, I, I think I see a breast, maybe two. Oh my God, there are boobs a popping in that painting. Granted, abstract boobs rendered in the cubism style, I believe, but memory gland flesh, nevertheless, how outrageous. What are those dirty birds at the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts going to do for an encore? Screen the entire Russ Meyer catalog from faster pussycat kill kill to beneath the valley of the ultra vixens? Golly. Thankfully, after receiving well-deserved international mocking, Facebook did an about face. The museum's original ad is back online. And in an attempt to further save face, the Facebook fascists, or I mean fellows, are promising to review their policies regarding fine art. In fact, while Facebook's current criteria doesn't generally allow nudity in ads, the company said it wants to make sure museums can share their most iconic paintings. Oh, that's mighty high brow of them, don't you think? Now, while Facebook's flip-flop turned out to be a good news story for the Montreal Museum of Fine Art, given the reams of free publicity that came from it, there remains a disturbing element to this story, namely the likes of Facebook and other social media companies, such as YouTube and Twitter, are getting increasingly more censor happy, especially with content that does not fit into their particular worldview. If we can't expect a company like Facebook to get it right regarding an iconic work of art, then how can we expect them to get it right regarding anything else? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.